We've got uh, head spinning trade investors now trading around this Powell pivot. We've seen markets climb a long way off the lows from mid June. Some markets more than others. I mean, Japanese stocks today, that the fact they're actually positive so far for the year to date. Yes. And does this give us some hope that we may see a suitable recovery that takes indices globally towards positive levels year to date? Well, it shows you that we have not tipped straight into a recession due to job destruction and the erosion of, uh, uh, of household purchasing power. If you look around the world and you compare what we're saying to each other today to maybe three weeks ago, I mean, the biggest danger of recession in, in the world today is really Europe uh, due to the effects of the war and what we've been talking about, and China, where we have a great many structural problems which are now coming to the fore at a most untimely uh, moment. Uh, but the, 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 three weeks ago, the big shift was America. Uh, you know, in, consumer price inflation was going to erode. Uh, household spending, there wasn't enough wealth, there wasn't enough uh, excess savings put aside during the COVID period, and that we were all doomed. Now I would say it is pretty clear that household wealth uh, and the actual creation of jobs, even if not as strong as before, are together with rising wages, albeit not in real terms, much uh, they are seemingly combining to keep the economy away from recession, probably at 1% growth rates, but away from recession. That's what the markets are reflecting. They're saying, OK, that's what's going to happen. The central banks are going to push, but not push as hard as they did. The ECB will probably stop by the end of the year. Uh, they'll have to. Uh, and the Fed is probably going to get us to 350, 375 and pause there. And that's already built into expectations. So you have two things. The lack of extreme recession globally. And secondly, the fact that the economies will be growing s slowly enough and prices for oil, energy and food will have tipped down, producing something like a bit of uh, the disinflation in order for central banks to pause. That's what's driving markets. Now, I wouldn't think, think that it can drive them forever uh, because there will be reversals the other way, but uh, it's the rally that we talked about uh, which has come through. I would say it's probably 75% over now.